India is ready to launch its mission to study the sun called Aditya L1. After the tremendous success of Chandrayaan 3, where India successfully soft landed nearer the south pole of the moon, becoming the first country to do that, within days, the Indian Space Research Organization is all set to launch its maiden space-based solar observatory, appropriately called Aditya. I am standing at a sundial in New Delhi. The sun governs our life on earth. Sun is the life giver for all plants, animals and other life on earth. Understanding the sun is very important. The sundial gives the time and is part of the Gregorian calendar. India also uses the lunar calendar for its calendar. India's Aditya L1 mission is India's third mission to study a celestial body. After studying the moon, India went to Mars and now it is going to study the sun. India or ISRO is using its workhorse rocket, the polar satellite launch vehicle or PSLV to launch Aditya L1 from Sriharikota. Once the PSLV puts the Aditya L1 in the earthbound orbit, it will go around the earth for several times, increasing its distance from the earth in an elliptical orbit and finally it will be nudged towards the sun. Aditya L1 is a solar observatory and it is not going to go all the way to the sun. It will go to a distance of 1.5 million kilometers away from the earth and have a direct sight of the sun on a continuous basis. Here, the Aditya L1 satellite will hang around or hover in a halo orbit. It's a tricky operation and ISRO having mastered both the moon orbits and the Mars orbits, there is hope that reaching this very special halo orbit, which is 1.5 million kilometers from earth between the earth and the sun should not be difficult. No satellite can go near the sun for it will get burnt. Hence India is going to observe the sun on a continuous basis from this 1.5 million kilometer distance. The sun is almost four and a half billion years old. And the distance between the earth and the sun is 150 million kilometers. So India's Aditya L1 satellite would be observing the sun from a distance. The Aditya L1 satellite carries seven scientific instruments which will help decipher some of the mysteries of the sun. The sun is a ball of fire which gives all the energy which powers almost everything on earth, the harbinger of life. But there is so little that is known or understood of the science of the sun. India's first solar observatory hopes to bring some information, knowledge and data about solar science. But more importantly, India's Aditya L1 will also give information on why the sun gets angry. Occasionally, the sun gets very angry. There are solar storms and then there are ejections which send plasma all the way across the solar system. And if that plasma or highly charged particles 
come towards the earth they can fry the satellites which are there in orbit it can affect the the electronics which are there on earth hence understanding and forecasting when solar storms would occur so that one can protect the satellites in space is a big part of aditya l1 mission Aditya L1 in a way will be a protector for India's 50 plus satellites which are there in orbit. The cost of having 50 satellites up in orbit is about rupees 50000 crores. So it is extremely important for India to have a way of forecasting this solar storms and if they are coming towards earth and going to affect India's satellites. Aditya L1 mission is a scientific mission it has been in the making for a very long time and now indian scientists indian engineers at shri harikota and different scientific institutions are ready for the launch of aditya L1 as india's maiden solar observatory this space based platform will give india a direct look at the sun on a continuous basis and will help protect india aditya l1 is a satellite which has been made in india the scientific instruments have been made by indian scientists and the information will flow back to india understanding the sun is very critical since all life on earth literally depends on energy that comes from the sun after having embraced the moon successfully and having reached the mars orbit now the indian scientists at the indian space research organization are all set to have a vantage point between earth and the sun to have continuous observations of the sun the only star in the solar system which is closest to earth and can give a lot of information india literally reaching for the stars in new delhi palav bagla for ndtv